Republican presidential candidate Donald Trump has posted on his social media platform, Truth Social. He says Joe Biden wasn't fit to run for president and is certainly not fit to serve. All those around him, including his doctor, knew that he wasn't capable of being president, and he wasn't. Look what he's done to our country, with millions of people coming across our border. We will suffer greatly because of his presidency. Alan Fisher is in Washington, D.C., and says the Republicans will have to change tactics if Harris becomes the Democratic presidential candidate. I'm hearing from some uh, Republicans that they're going to, in American terms, flood the zone, which means essentially they're going to go on all-out attack against Kamala Harris to try and disable her at a very early stage. Uh, they want to attack her. They're going to tie her to problems at the border. They're going to say she knew about Joe Biden's decline in his condition and did nothing about it. Uh, they're going to say that the problems with uh, uh, immigration and inflation can also be traced to the Biden-Harris White House. And they're going to spend a lot of money doing this and doing it very quickly. But I'm also hearing that the Democrats have raised around $75 million since the announcement that Joe Biden was going to step down. So uh, it, we're going to see a lot of political ads, a lot of posturing and a lot of talking. They're going to try and stop Kamala Harris before her campaign even begins to ignite across the country. But of course, we're four months away from the election and that's expensive. And at the moment, the Republicans aren't raising that sort of money. In the swing states, Donald Trump had a lead and that lead was increasing. However, you put Kamala Harris up against Joe Biden and then that's a completely different, uh, sorry, you put Kamala Harris up against Donald Trump. That's a completely different equation. She starts to tie and in some cases even lead. And it's those polls that effectively told Joe Biden he had to get out of the race because not only was he behind in swing states, but he was behind in states like Virginia and New Mexico states that the Democrats expected to win and did not expect to spend any money fighting those states. Essentially, Joe Biden's path to the presidency went from there to there. It disappeared, not quite overnight, but certainly in the last three weeks since that terrible debate performance. And so what the Democrats will be hoping is that Kamala Harris will open up that path, will be able to push forward. She will get the nomination from the convention in Chicago next month, and then we'll spend three months on the campaign trail. And certainly from what we're seeing, it looks as if a lot of big name endorsements are flying behind her. And it would really, as speaking to one Democrat, it would be political suicide for anyone to go up against her at the moment. This is really going to be the coronation of Kamala Harris, and she is going to more than likely be the nomination. Well, Gabriel Elizondo has more from outside Trump Tower in New York. He built a campaign infrastructure to go against Joe Biden. Uh, that's very clear. Now, uh, Joe Biden will not be uh, the person he, that Donald Trump is going up against. So yeah, he's going to have to completely probably change his message, as we heard from Alan Fisher already talking about uh, uh, some of that. But uh, he has a major pivot to do now. And I'll tell you, he is now facing uh, uh, someone that is certainly much younger than he is, uh, certainly a woman and certainly uh, who comes from a more diverse background than Donald Trump comes from. So he is going to have to completely probably change his message because he knows that this is going to uh, rile up the Democratic base. Let's not forget. Uh, the majority of, uh, of registered voters in the United States said they were not satisfied with either Donald Trump or Joe Biden. They wanted a different option. Well, now they have it. And uh, that is now going to be the interesting part of is where we move on from here and how Donald Trump is going to have to reshape his message. He is up in a lot of the polls, almost all of the polls. But we'll have to see in the coming days uh, what the Democrats do, what kind of momentum they get. And most importantly, how you see Donald Trump shape and reshape his campaign message in the coming days, weeks and months. Dan Ronane is a former spokesman for the Republican National Committee, and he says Republicans will now be less certain of a Trump victory. When everyone woke up this morning, it was a foregone conclusion that Donald Trump was going to win this election in November. And this causes a bit of a reset on that. I was up in Milwaukee for the Republican convention last week. It's the fifth one I've been to. And I don't know if I've ever left a convention where people were more optimistic about their chances of winning. Uh, I think that wasn't just the Republicans in Milwaukee. I think it was political handicappers around the world. 
And now we have to look at the new dynamics. Uh, this is no longer President Trump versus President Biden. He has a new opponent, and it certainly appears that's going to be Vice President Harris. The vice presidential pick, that could have an awful lot to do with the calculus of the campaign, because we'll have to see from what state does that vice presidential candidate come. Uh, a lot of the names that we're hearing now are from battleground states. Uh, Mark Kelly from Arizona, Josh Shapiro from Pennsylvania, uh, Rory Cooper from North Carolina. Those are all states that are going to determine the outcome of the election. It's a very big issue that Vice President Harris is going to have to speak to. And that is, how long has the president been incapable of doing his job? And if he's incapable of being on the campaign trail, can he remain as commander in chief? I, I think it's a very fair question to be asked. And again, I think it's something that will dog the vice president through this campaign. Uh, the country saw President Biden go out for a debate when his campaign ended three Thursdays ago, uh, and, and were stunned by what they saw. Uh, vice President Harris is in regular contact with the president. When did she see this diminished capacity? Uh, it's going to be uh, a stone in her shoe through the entire campaign. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.